This is the foodie review. Today we will be reviewing these delicious boxes of chocolates. They say Happy Valentine's Day on them. I got three boxes just to make sure that there weren't any differences inside of the chocolates inside of these boxes. These were bought for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I know not a lot of money to spend on your sweetie, but if you're strapped for budget constraints, it's always good to know that maybe spending a dollar on your sweetie will lead to some very good things for you in your future. And in which case you were you were able to avoid spending a lot of more money. But are they worth it? That's what we're gonna figure out and find out today. Like are the chocolates inside of these little packages worth a dollar or should you go out and spend more on Valentine's Day? You get for the serving size, you get an entire package. It's, the calories are 240, calories from fat are 90. So what is exactly is inside of these little boxes? They are made with sugar, milk chocolate, which contains milk chocolate, the soy leptin, which is an emulsifier, salt, artificial flavor, dark sweet chocolate, which includes sugar, chocolate, cocoa butter, natural and artificial flavors, soy leptin, which again is an emulsifier, corn syrup, yes it does contain the high fructose corn syrup, palm oil, it contains 2% or less of the following ingredients, milk, skim milk, artificial and natural flavors, food starch modified, a citric acid, which is vitamin C, salt, egg whites, gelatin, partially hydrogenated palm kernel and cottonseed oils, which is, you also have an emulsifier, caramel color, red 40, yellow 6, potassium soybate, hydrolyzed soy protein and sodium hexamethyphosphate. It does contain eggs, milk, and soy, so if you are allergic to any of those ingredients, you know, please avoid. And it's also made on equipment that is shared with wheat, almonds, pecans, and peanuts. So once again, if you have any allergies, just be aware that it is made on equipment that does share its same, the same space as wheat, almonds, pecans, and peanut equipment. This is created by Elmer Chocolate. It is manufactured proudly in the U.S. at Punxatula, Louisiana. If I'm pronouncing this wrong, I apologize, but this is the best pronunciation I can come up with. Once again, what do you get inside this package? So that was the ingredients. It's got a nice, satisfying sound for the shrink wrap. Nice and crinkly. So we're just going to open these boxes up and see if these chocolates are worth it. Let's open up this first one, this nice red box. So as we are opening up this nice box, find out what is inside. How many pieces of chocolate are there? Let's say that entire package has 240 calories. And once inside, you get one, two, three, four, five pieces of chocolate. Let's see what is inside this chocolate right here. Looks like it's got an orange look to it. So let's see if this is an orange chocolate. I'm slowly eating it. Yes, it does have an orange flavor. It's actually not too bad. The chocolate around it doesn't taste like it's a low quality chocolate. And it doesn't have any grit to it, which means that the chocolate itself was slowly stirred, so it has very few crystals inside of it, which is a sign of a better quality chocolate. It doesn't have exactly a lot of chocolate to it. The second piece here, we've got a pink color to it, so I wonder if it's a strawberry or a cherry. So let's go find out. It 
doesn't have as defined a taste as the other one does. Can't quite tell if it's cherry or strawberry, so there's a bit of a problem there. Once again, it doesn't have a lot of grit to the to the paste on the inside, which is a good sign that it's you know not badly made. It has a nice smooth flavor going down. I think that was supposed to be cherry and not strawberry. Okay, let's look at a darker piece here. Okay, what is this? Oh wow, nice gooey caramel on the inside. Or this appears to be caramel. Let me taste this real fast. Mmm. Has a nice gooey. Mmm. That is actually the best piece I've tasted from the box so far. It's got a nice gooey taste to it. Doesn't quite taste as a high quality chocolate would, but once again, you're only paying a dollar for this. But it is quite tasty. Another one is this, like another cordial sized one. Let's see if it's gooey on the inside too. It's a light, lighter color. Alright. Trying this one. Got a lighter caramel color. This piece is actually quite good. It's much better than the mysterious cherry flavored one. I'm a sucker for caramel. Caramel is not the heaviest caramel flavor I've ever tasted, but once again, it doesn't have any hard sugar crystals in it, so this means that the chocolates were properly prepared. There's no grit when you shouldn't be tasting any sort of grit when you are eating a chocolate. That's a sign of larger sugar crystals on the inside. And what is this? This appears to be some sort of chocolate in the middle of this. Once again, I don't know exactly what it is. We'll find out when I start tasting it. So that appears to be some sort of chocolate, almost Tootsie Roll flavored piece of chocolate. It doesn't taste quite bad. The chocolate doesn't have a strong chocolate taste to it, which is a bit of a disappointment, but... It's actually not, not bad. This is much better than I thought they would be. These are Elmer's chocolates. Once again, you're spending a whole dollar. This came from the Dollar Tree. Opening up this package to see if it's any different from the other package. Once again, if you're going in, you're picking up these packages. This way you know what's on the inside. These are like the you know, last minute gift idea. So again, it's got a nice, satisfying shrink wrap to it. Nice crinkly sound. Opening these up, are these just the same as the others? Let's find out. Just opening up this box. It appears to be the exact same chocolates. I'm going to open these up just to make sure. I'm just going to do a quick slice and dice. Yep, once again, got the orange on the inside. Here's your orange chocolate. I'll taste it once again to make sure. distinct orange flavor so far. The, the one that has the most distinct flavor so far has been the orange. Actually hasn't been half bad. I mean, it's actually quite good. This is the mysterious cherry. I guess this is supposed to be cherry. The flavor on the cherry is not very distinct. Which is a bit of a disappointment and it doesn't have a big thick chocolate shell. It's got, you know, a fairly thin shell of chocolate around it. This is the, the this is supposed to be the lighter the caramels. Yep, same flavor and taste and consistency of the, as the other box. This is the dark caramel.
And this is the one that has the chocolate on the middle that has kind of a tissue roll flavor to it. Same as the other boxes. The other box. I'm opening up the last one here just to compare. And the shrink wrap has a very satisfying sound to it. Some people like the sound of shrink wrap. Yep. And once again, the chocolates on the inside look identical to the chocolates in the other two, two boxes. For a dollar, you can't, these can't be beat. This is a quite surprise. The chocolates might not have the best or strongest chocolate flavor. However, the crystals on the inside of the chocolate are very tiny, so you can't taste any grit, which is harder to find in a less expensive chocolate. A disappointment was the cherry flavor. Or I guess it's supposed to be cherry flavor because it didn't have a strong cherry flavor. The orange did. The two caramels may not have the strongest caramel flavor, but they you can tell they didn't tell they were caramel. And the last piece of chocolate, which was the one with a bit of the, the chocolate on the inside, the chocolate truffle, was actually quite good. It tasted a little bit like a Tootsie Roll. So for a dollar, you these for your sweeties, these can't be beat. Just be sure to store your chocolates in a nice, cool, safe place so the texture of the chocolate isn't destroyed. And once again, this is the Foodie Review signing off. Definitely worth it. One dollar at the Dollar Tree for each of these, for each one of these boxes. So it was a total of three dollars spent. And it was quite worth it. So Foodie Review signing off.